Music Beast Daily Vlogs. Something a little different today. Today, I'm going to podcast and upload my vlog at the same time. So let's get this started. <laughs> We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs, and it's a daily podcast with your host, me, Eric B. Today, something a little bit different. I am in my podcast studio with the background of Hawaii right there. That's the cool thing about Zoom. What a lot of people don't realize is right now I'm in Hawaii, but if I wanted to be somewhere like Tatooine, I'm in Tatooine. Check that out. Kind of remind you of what it looked like on Wednesday here in San Francisco. If I wanted to be at the Overlook Hotel, it's kind of kind of scary to be in the Overlook Hotel. Or I like to use my little background with my little studio, but I use this background for my Ordinary Joe's podcast. Also, I could be sitting on the couch with The Simpsons. This is a little more something that... I probably would might want to use or to give homage. I could be in Wakanda. But today, I have a guest, a special guest. So I'm going to get him on this Zoom call slash podcast slash vlog. And we're going to go check this out. Let's go. Let's go. Next shot, my guest will be here with me. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is uh, Sean Garnett, cousin Flippo from Hawaii Five O. Just want to give a quick shout out to my boy Eric B. Doing his 800th video vlog. Please go check it out on YouTube. And uh, stay safe out there. Wear your masks. And um, yeah, let's slash COVID-19. All right, I am going to bring in Sean, a.k.a. Garnett, Cousin Flippa. There he is, Mr. Sean Garnett, a.k.a. Cousin Flippa. How's it going up there, buddy? What's up, dude? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, cool. All right, let me turn me up. All right. How's like everything? Your like your background. You know, I was trying to do this for you because of uh, how everything is right now here in San Francisco. So I decided yeah. I'd rather be here in Hawaii than, than in San Francisco right now because, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, it. you got the stay-at-home order for two more weeks. So. I mean, I, you can go to the beach, but you can go solo. Uh, who wants to go to the beach solo? Which, which really doesn't make sense because – there's families and you know what you gotta keep all the kids in the van while one person one kid goes that's, yeah. that's no that's no fun <laughs> yeah no fun at all. that's no but, fun uh, for people watching on youtube sean garnett aka cousin flippa who's uh hey. mr hawaii 50 himself probably um one with of the hair with i know what, what's up with that man i follow if you don't follow him on instagram follow him on instagram and um instagram yeah. What's up with the hair? Let's let's talk about that. Well, uh, you know, not not working, uh, not playing any gigs. Oh man, uh, not filming. So, I used to have a mohawk before back in the day, and then I used to have a beard, and I never shaved it off for a long time. And then when I got on the show, uh, uh, they told me to shave it off because I looked just like you know Kamikona. So yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, okay, I guess so. So yeah, and then when this you know COVID hoopla happened. I was like, hmm. Let's grow it out. Should, let's just do a, 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 you know, a quarantine mohawk and beard. But it's coming out good. You can see how old I am now. Oh, man. What do you, why do you <laughs> think I keep my hair bald? Why do you think I, I like, keep it bald? Because we, cause we sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why I cut it bald. Because I, I sweat all the time. And yeah, yeah, yeah. hair, it gets yeah. the worst. It's like taking care of a dog. 
I got a couple of questions for you from people who um who I work with who are big fans of your work in Hawaii Five O. Um, so one question was a coworker: How did you get into the acting business? Uh, kind of fell into it. Uh, let me see. I always tell the story of my uncle Tim uh, okay. Archer. Uh, he played a dead guy on the Hawaii Five O. Okay. Um, if they had a couple, you know, um, extra work, he was in background and all that. So he emailed me and he's like, "Hey, they're always looking for a uh, you know big local Hawaiian guys with tattoos and all yeah, that, yeah. or whatever. If you wanted to extra work, so I'm like, hmm, I'm one of those things. So uh, yeah, signed up online. It was it was different how it is now, but like uh, you sign up online and you know you put your picture in and all that. Then they call you for like a casting call. Uh, I just me- I remember the day." Like it was yesterday. It was the old Honolulu Advertiser building. Okay, I remember and, that. Uh, yeah, and then um, there's just a lot of people there, and they're just telling us what to do as extras, what not to do, and then they take a picture of you, you sign some stuff, and they say, okay, we'll call you when we need you. And I was just like, okay. Totally nice. forgot about it for about a couple months. Then out of the blue, they called me like for an audition for Flippa. Nice. Like, oh, well, for real? So I went in, did my thing, waited a week, and then I got the part. And then you saw me on the first episode that I've yeah, ever yeah. been on was a Victoria's Secret episode. Yeah. The, the models and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. And that's <laughs> basically the story. I mean, I've been on, nice. I was on since season three and, you know, uh, just peppered in here and there. So I'm like super thankful. And like, yeah. like I said, I just fell into it. And um, Peter Lenko, I remember the day, like, we're sitting down on the couch where the scenes are. And Peter Lenkoff, you know, the you know, producer, yes, the writer of the show. And he's like, uh, oh, hey, what's, what's, how you doing, sir? And I didn't even know it was Peter Lenkoff. So he's like, uh, how you doing? Like, I'm doing good. He's like, yeah, you, we picked you because you look just like, uh, you know, Taylor. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> where, where else is Howley guy? Where else is this guy? But, uh, and then Comic-Con on Taylor is like, yes, the guy, bro. Yes, the, yes, the guy. guy. Yes, our oh. guy over there, he's, he's Peter Lenkov. He's a shoe, he's the guy. I was like, come on, right? So, Sound uh, just like him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you're around, when you're yeah. around people, and I'm a mimicker. I like okay. Shoot. I try to, you know, my wife says I'm not that good at voices, but I think I'm good. I, I, if That's I close true. my That's eyes, true. if I close my eyes, you will come a corner there for a minute, so. <laughs> yeah, it's right, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, like. No, let me ask you this. Did they give you the name Flippa, or did you get to pick that name? No, yeah, they gave me the name. And I was like, Flippa, come on. And I'm like, my mom is like, how come they, why, why did I give you, why did I give you that name? How come yeah. like a, give you a stronger name, like yeah. Koa, or yeah. uh, I don't know, typical Kimo or something. A strong like, Hawaii, Kaviki, or Kavika. 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 Yeah, a strong Kavika. Hawaii Kavika. name, yeah. Yeah, a strong Olos or something, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they gave me flippo, so I'm like, whatever. Yeah. You were born hey, hey. born and raised in Hawaii, right? Yeah, born and raised in Hawaii. I nice. moved to San Antonio for a couple of years because uh, my my folks was in the military, and uh, you know, I think they got stationed or something. I really don't know, but they, we okay. moved to San Antonio, moved back home to Hawaii, and then I've uh, been here ever since. I was then, uh. uh then I went to Vegas in 2006, 2007. Oh, the ninth was it? The ninth considered the ninth island. Yes, sir. Ninth island. Yeah, I spent spent some time living out there on the islands, and uh, it was it, w- it was good. It was good, but you know, being a Californian and being able to just get in the car and drive wherever I want to go. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's what I miss about Vegas. Like traveling, you can go anywhere you want to go. I mean, yeah, my yeah. wife go to like, hey, you want this weekend? You want to go to California? Go to Disneyland? It's like, sure. Yeah. Like we, we knew somebody like this, his sister worked at Disneyland and nice. could give free the park. You know, yeah. whatever ticket. So, we use them one weekend and all that. It was, it was great, man. Yeah. Like Arizona, go Arizona. You know, I think we went as far. No, we went to Texas. No, we didn't go to Texas. I think the farthest we went to Arizona, but that's the one thing, just traveling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, Hawaii is beautiful. I love Hawaii. I love the people in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, if you want to go two hours, you're back exactly where you started from, <laughs> yeah. you know, two hours yeah. later. So, <laughs> That's the only downfall. Other than that, man, I, I, you know, I met a lot of cool people out there. Um, when I was staying, living out there for a while, I met, you know, 
a lot of good people. And, and yeah. that's why my roots is still in the 808, you know, it's like, I don't even listen to regular music anymore. I'm still listening to, you know, 808 style music. And in the beginning, I want to say like 12 years ago when I was listening to, you know, music from the 808, you know, everybody mm -hmm. was making fun of me. And they're like, Hey bro, you hear this new, you know, this new guy from, uh, from, uh, the 808. And I'm like, which one is like, oh, the Jimmy Weeks is coming out, bro. You go, you go uh -oh. listen to them. They're going to be good. And yeah. then hear my friends from the city. They're like, hey, you knew, you hear that new uh, 2 Chains?" And I'm like, who the hell is 2 Chains? Yeah. Two ch yeah. <laughs> Who's 2 Chains? It's like, what kind of island music does he sing? He's like, no, he doesn't sing. He sing island music. He's a rapper. So, I mean, I told a friend of mine, the reason why I like island music so much is because, you know, they talk about how they feel. Sometimes they just go crazy and talk about like island stuff and yeah. or they'll take a remake from a country song and just sing it with that island beat of course and i'd rather listen to that i have two boys that i'm trying to raise the right way and the last thing i want them to hear is like you know <laughs> yeah. all that uh all that jack yeah I yeah I, you know I, yeah speaking of music there's this song out that you did um if you guys don't have sean garnett he's on itunes there's a song called warm embrace that you sang oh, oh, yeah. a while back how long yeah. ago was that? Dude, I was back in the Vegas days, like um, around 2007. I joined this uh, ska band, ska reggae band. We're called uh, One Pin Short. And uh, it was just, uh, I was the oldest member of the band. The rest were like still in high school when I joined the band. Um, yeah, they were just, just good kids, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And uh, I showed like my, my, I guess, my uh, genre or my music. Um, I grew up liking you know, Sublime and yeah, kind of the punk rock and the ska too. So um, not too much the Hawaiian reggae, like but like if I say Hawaiian reggae, like Hawaii Kane, Kapena, Kapena yeah. vibrations, you know, like so that's that's what I I love. So I showed him like a little bit of the vibe, like you know that I was catching. I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. I wrote the song Warm Embrace, uh, just you know, it's two, or four or five chords. Yeah, it just came came out of the blue, and I just wrote it. It's a good. It's good when you write a song like in five minutes, <laughs> instead of like five months. Yeah, and yeah. Like, Wick, you know, I was like, wow, these words go well together. And um, yeah. So it's a. It's a. I, the, I still. I still play it to this day. The reason why I bring that song up because with everything going around in the world right now, if you guys download the song "Warm and Brave," Sean Garnett, you can find it on um, Apple, um, probably Spotify as well. Yeah. But the song and the lyrics goes well with what's going on around the world right now. And I was I was just jamming to it right before you got on, and I'm like, oh my god, when did you write this? And I saw when you wrote it, and it's like you were looking into the future, and you know, <laughs> it's like, was this how it was back in 2007? Were we going through this no. too? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. Like sometimes I get into like a. What are the like, like singer songwriter? Oh, it's from my soul and all yeah. that, whatever. Like, basically, it wasn't it wasn't like that. I just you know I had to throw some words together and like if it if it means something that's cool. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Or if it doesn't, then you, know, you just turn it to the next song. But no, uh, it's, it's, it was, I like it's, it. Good. It was you know it's simple. It's straight to the point. I guess is how I felt or whatever. And, yeah, uh, no, but it, it fits in with what's going on. Again, with, with everything going on right now with, you know, the whole movement yeah. and everything, it fits in perfectly. It's, it's so crazy how just things just, just work yeah. out. And, yeah. You know, so. so um, as far as acting, um, I don't know. I saw someone brought this up to me. Uh, there's a show called Aloha Surf Hotel that's supposed to be in production. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Can you talk about that? Yeah, it's a movie uh, starring Augie T. Oh, nice. Uh, very uh, um, prominent and uh, awesome uh, local comedian here. Now he's running for office, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, he's the the star of the, uh, the show, I guess. I play okay. Mo. He's a uh, like a handyman or whatever, but I don't really fix things. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny, man. Like it, it's, he's plays a surfer. He's an out of work, uh, you know, surf bum and all that. He's trying to, you know, work at the hotel. And okay. Got Uncle Branscom Richmond. I don't know if you know him. He's from like Renegade. He did a. He did a. He was in the scene, you know, the Duru Pepa. You know, the Duru Pepa uh, yeah. uh, from yeah, yeah. Sarah Marshall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sarah Marshall. Yeah, yeah. 
um, some other people too. I can't remember. Oh, the guy that does the one dollar, uh, Alex Farnham. Yes. Yeah, he does all kinds of skits the whole way. Local, yeah, yeah, yeah. Local, local, yeah. No, Tiana Tully. Uh, she's been in uh, a lot of commercials, a lot of uh, movies too. So like, it's a really funny, really funny movie. Uh, I don't know when it's going to come out. Hopefully, uh, end of this year, or whatever. But uh, you can go to a uh, YouTube, a little surf hotel, and you can. Uh, Check it out. Okay, Augie okay, is one of one of the guys that um when uh when I was living out there for a while. Into the future. Sorry about that. When oh. I was living out when I, I know when I was living out there for a while um he was one guy that I would always turn on listen to the radio and then he would always be on the radio and then yep. um you guys had a quick quick thing going on for a while um yep. on the radio and it was with, with internet radio is the way things are right now it's so cool because I can just you know turn on your page and just listen to what's things like in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, the bad thing is um, I'm sitting at work and I'm hearing what seven o'clock traffic is like, you know, like at nine, nine o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning. And yeah. I'm like, oh man, I'm glad I'm not there right now with the way that I'm traffic not even, is going on. I wasn't, I wasn't even in seven o'clock uh, traffic. I, you know, I woke up at five in the morning uh, out the door at yeah. like five fifty maybe. And then, you know, there was like some on the road, but yeah. You know, it's just early, and like if if there is traffic, then some dummy probably got into an accident. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, I was like, dude, come on. Trying to drive his uh his uh, Tacoma, his Tacoma. What's up? <laughs> What's up with Tacoma in Hawaii? Every time I look on IG or anything, it's all about, hey, bro, you want to buy my Tacoma, bro? <laughs> is it Toyota? Is it Toyota? Toyota Tacoma. Toyota yeah. Tacoma. Yeah, something. <laughs> of, uh, I don't know. The Ford Ranger XLT. Yeah. Like everyone know. I know, it's a Tacoma. I don't know what's up with Tacomas. It's all mocks. <laughs> all mocks. That's what they love. Is the mocks is the mocks. Tacomas. So what's up? Um, the rail. For people who who's you know oh, the who rail. About the rail. Is it, is it has it gone up yet? Is it actually moving? Oh, man. I don't. You know, honestly, to be quite honest with you, Sam. Yes. Yes. I haven't been in town, or drove past the airport in months, and I. I you know, I'm not exaggerating. I haven't yeah, yeah. drove past in months. I've stayed in the Mililani, uh North Shore area. Maybe go as far as Pro City, but I haven't. I haven't even, you know, whatever seen what's going on with the rail. I mean, uh, with the whole COVID crap going on, I don't know if like construction workers are still working on them. You know, yeah. so I would guess yeah, but okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna lean towards the I don't know. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's... <laughs> you know, it's like. I live I, in I live in San Francisco my whole life and I'm never downtown. You'll never catch me downtown because I have no reason to be down there. So I totally understand what you're talking dude, about. Like when you know, unfortunately, you know, like uh, things you know uh, end and you know the radio show ended, and you know when COVID happened, they laid me off for the radio and like, I was like oh okay, it wasn't really a big blow. I yeah, think yeah, the, yeah. Gig, the gigs and filming was a big bigger blow, but I was like okay, it's cool because I don't have to go into town if I don't have to. So yeah. Yeah, not you're also to... you're also on Magnum PI too, right? When... Yeah, I did a couple did a couple uh, Magnum PI episodes. Uh, I was in the background playing music, which is also cool. I can get my tunes on on the TV and TV, whatever. Yeah, so cool. yeah, whenever they call, I'm like, yeah, hey, you want me to play music? That's cool because that's an easy day. I just gotta pretend sit. that I'm playing. Yeah, sit there, be be you. That's the good thing. There be now, pretty. As, as far as Hawaii Five O, was that? I mean, I did watch the last episode, and they kind of kept it to where if they wanted to open it up again, they I guess they could. Um, I don't know. At this point, I don't think they can. I mean, I think everybody's done with Five yeah. Um But, uh, you know, like I said, there's always Magnum. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's not Five-O, but hey, it's, at least it's, it's here in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, that's the it's good in thing. The, it's in the universe, you know. I'm, I'm going to call it the Lenkoff universe. The Lenkoff universe. You know? It's kind of uh, like I the feel, little MCU, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty cool because like, I feel like a superhero. Like, oh, my character's on Five O. Now I travel over to that, yeah. to that uh, you know TV show. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a crossover. So, yeah, I mean, anything can happen. You know, they can throw in some old school Hawaii Five O. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. No, I mean Hawaii Five O was cool. I mean, it was a cool. It was a cool thing to watch, especially for a lot of us who are not in the main or in the, in the islands and we're here in the mainland and we just want to go. Mm -hmm. You know kind of check it out and you know like my dad's a big old uh hawaii 5 fan yeah. and when the new series came out he like just fell in love with it um 
I kind of fell off when they got rid of the only, uh, you know, two Asians on the show. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, you get rid of the Koreans. What's going on here? <laughs> But you know, it's still it's still moved forward. And I, I kinda I kinda you know, I enjoy the whole premise of Hawaii Five O. And the same thing with Magnum PI. I, I totally love how everything is just Hawaii and, and, and yeah, you're keeping it real with a lot of people. So I like yeah, that. that. That was really cool how like you know, Hawaii Five O Five O did. Like they just hit the mark on like, you know, Hawaiian traditions and yeah. you know, the culture and the people and um just making Hawaii look extra beautiful i mean yeah. like i remember when i was in vegas and my wife and i watching the first episode and we're like wow I'm, you know like as a kid you know you take hawaii for granted and you're yeah, like of course eh, it's, it's hawaii whatever this is where i live whatever. and then yeah, yeah. you get older you're like wow this is where i live and i'm super thankful that i live here but like you're watching tv and like man they do make the island beautiful yeah oh you know, they're the only only uh people in the world that can make the alawai canal Look, look nice. <laughs> look gorgeous. The doodle infested. The doodle infested. When, like, I was, when, when I was crazy. When I was living out there, I was doing a lot of uh, I was doing a lot of rowing on that canal. And, Ooh. Yeah, and I didn't know, you know. Hey, I'm from the mainland. I didn't know that 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 was a bad place to be in until someone told you, me, make sure you, you shower you, three you times. Out, like condom. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I don't put condom on. You don't want anything to, you know, just go through. Because like, if it does, oh, it's... I, I looked up. I came home one day. And my roommate was like, hey, what's that smell? I'm like, I don't know. I looked at my paddle. I'm like, oh, it's my paddle. But I was like dead cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. You know, in, in, when I was younger, I never I never wanted to go to Hawaii because of that one episode of Brady Bunch. Um, yeah, of course. You know? Of course, yeah. That, and and I, told, I told that to every tourist. He was like, Please do not take anything from, I don't care if it's a napkin or a spoon. Like, yeah. Don't take anything. No rocks, no nothing. Nothing. Like, didn't you watch the Brady Button? Is that, oh, yeah, I, I remember that. Is it? Yeah. Like, don't, please. Vincent Price with the Oliver and the Tiki's. Do not. I mean, uh, um, it happened to, uh, you know, my, my grandpa, man. Like, uh, he, he went to the Big Island. Mm-hmm. He, uh, yeah, I found this, like, rock. And what he did, he got like the silver dollar thing, yeah. put it inside the lava, put it in the water so it can, you know, like it could uh, stick to the rock. So it was like, oh, kind of yeah, yeah. There. Brought it home. Uh, I think somebody, I think one of my uncles, whatever, almost died. Oh, wow. My gra- my grandma Mokowahi, she's like, great grandma Mokowahi. She's like 100% Hawaiian. She's like, boy, did you take anything uh, home from Big Island? Like, oh, this rock. And it's like, you better go back to <laughs> Big Island. Back you better- back. So like well, once you did that, everything was powerful. So it was like, nice. Yeah, we were we were um you know like whenever we go out there, it's like dude, don't even bring sand in your shoe. Make sure you of course yeah. hand everything out because we don't want to bring anything back. And if we do, you know we we I think we brought we bought a couple rings from from there once and we had it blessed yeah. before we left just because you know koa wood rings and you know I don't know yeah, if it's yeah. a real koa but just in case. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't want the plane crashing on the way home, and you know they blame the cold wood yeah. that these two tourists yeah. has. Yeah. So I think it's cool, like you know, if you go in like the gift shops and all that, just buying stuff. But like, just in general, you know, like rocks or any uh, yes. you know plants or whatever. Like, yeah, just just leave it. Leave it. Leave it there. As leave my grandma it. would say, leave it go. <laughs> just leave it go. You know, when I was living out there, I had this this one roommate, or not roommate, this one neighbor. Every day is a little Japanese guy. You know, like everybody called him Miyagi because that's exactly what he he looked like. He was wearing the brown jumpsuit all the time. But every day, like four thirty, he come, 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 come. We go eat. We go eat. I'm a city boy, and I'm like, I'm not. I don't know you. I'm not gonna go to your house. You know, it's like you're gonna try to kill me. But then my roommates would come in and they're, they're like, they're full. I'm like, hey, where'd you go? I was like, oh, we just came from Aggie's house, man. He just had, you know, we ate. And I'm like, you guys go there? It's like, we go there every day. He feeds yeah. the whole neighborhood. Yeah. I'm like, what? I, I, you know, yeah. I never knew that custom or like, you know, again, living in the city, you never realize that till, till you're there. And I'm like, God, I love this, this Hawaiian hospitality. I love mm-hmm. it. It, yeah, it's so weird. Like, you know, you teach your kids, you know, don't go <laughs> talk to strangers and yeah. all that. But that's like the most nicest people of yours, strangers. Not one well, nowadays. 
I don't know, like somebody might take you or kidnap you or whatever, yeah, like yeah, yeah. trafficking or whatever. But back in the day, like, yeah, you go over to, you know, some uncle's house or auntie's house. Oh, come, boy, come. You yeah. like some oranges. You like apples. Like, it's, like, you know, it's just loving. You know? yeah, like, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what we grew up on. Now, I love I, I love that. And, and it's like, even till now, it's like, I try not to tell everybody, whenever we decide to go out there, I try not to tell everybody that we're going to be there. Try not to post on social media because next thing you know, I'm going over to five different people's house because they want to go have dinner or, you know, they want to bring me over and the family over. And I'm like, I want to enjoy, enjoy my vacation. And, you know, <laughs> so it's like, I try not to tell everybody. Maybe I'll tell somebody towards the end of the vacation. Yeah. You kind of like, oh, you know, I have one more day. I gotta, gotta just hang out, kind of thing here and there. We gotta pack. We gotta pack our suitcases. We gotta pack our suitcase, exactly. But yeah, the man. I mean, again, once again. But first of all, I want to thank, thank you again for for coming on. I mean, it's a, Wars, it's a, it's dude, a big thing. This, like I said, at this point, I have nothing. Else. I'm not doing yeah, anything. Yeah. For everyone, everyone who watches on YouTube, um, brother Sean's always on my hundredth episode. Just throwing me a shout out and and. Anytime. I've been lagging a little bit on the vlogs because I've been doing more of the podcasts, which is, um, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's sitting at home doing nothing. Um, yeah. And with this COVID thing, it's kind of hard for me to go out and do vlogs uh, just because I'm walking around without a mask and everyone's looking at me like, where's your mask? And I tell them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Do you, how do you feel about that? Like people pointing at you and being like, where's your mask? Where's your, yeah. Like, do you feel like it's like, hey, just. Yeah. Well, if I'm walking on the street and I know there's nobody around me within six feet, you know, it's yeah. like, I'm not, you know, I, I kind of want that. Not bothering you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if I'm walking in the store and I don't have a mask on, I think I'm one of those people myself where if I walk into a store and I see somebody without a mask, I'm just, I'm not pointing at them, but I'm just giving them this hard look like, hey, where's your yeah. mask? Because yeah. um, you know what, it's, it's, you know, we're trying to nip it in the bud. Um, mm -hmm. And here in San Francisco, we had it big. We had it hard for all you guys in Hawaii. You guys are just going through your shelter in place, right? Going on yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. We had it hard here as well. And, and unfortunately for me, I'm a healthcare worker, so I didn't really get a health, uh, shelter in place. I still had to go to work um, five days a week and deal with, you know, hey. I don't want to say people who don't think, but people who are like, why, why can't I come in and make an appointment? Well, because there's a coronavirus going around right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we did our two weeks. We did our, we did actually, we, we did a little bit more than two weeks with our shelter in place. And it was kind of rough for us too, because, you know, it was like a ghost town around mm -hmm. here. And, and it's I'm pretty safe. sure Hawaii's feeling the, the no tourism thing going on over there, right? Yeah, we, uh, let me see, about a month and a half ago, my, my, my wife and I and the boy, uh, we said, hey, you want to go to the beach? So uh, we packed up the van, went down to uh, the Hilton Hawaiian village. Yes. You know where the, the, the lagoon is? Yeah. Went over there and I'm like, there's like nobody here, like no tourists whatsoever. So I'm like, wow, this is, this is how it is with no tourists. Yeah. Because if you're there, it was like, I think it was a weekend, maybe a weekday, Wednesday, I'm not sure, but usually it's packed. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Packed, like super packed. So we're there, like nobody there. It was like, you know, two or three people, or whatever. But like, it was just none. I'm like, wow, this is it's crazy, you know? Yeah, I mean that's just that always always kills me is because like I said, like here in San Francisco, I did I did a whole vlog where I went down to Pier Thirty Nine and went down Fisherman's mm -hmm. Wharf, and just to see it the way it was was like wow, there's nobody you know nobody here, um, and it yeah, does yeah. it does kill our economy. And you know I know Hawaii's big on tourism, yes. big on yeah. economy. San Francisco is the same way. You know we get half of our money on tourism, and again, so we nip this whole coronavirus, man. I, I mean. You know, if you have to go out, wear a mask and, you know, just, just, let's just try to get this over with. Yeah, that's basically it. Come on, just get over with and let's get over with. go back to our, you know, boring ass life. Boring ass, yeah, boring life. Boring, <laughs> life. boring crazy life. I see that you're drinking a, out of a Raider cup. Are you a Raider, Raider fan? Uh, oh, please. Oh, uh, no, no. These, <laughs> these cups uh, came from Canes. Uh, we're... This is from a Disney, let me see, California fair from Disney, Disneyland and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And raising, and, raising Canes, right? The chicken finger place? Yeah, raising, yes. yes. Uh, apparently, it came in a Raiders cup, and my wife likes the Raiders. Oh, uh, she was like, let's keep it. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, I like the Browns. That's right. You're a Cleveland fan. But, but 
I'm not really a fan. I just picked the Browns because I tell everybody this. I'm brown. I'm native. I'm Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah. So I picked the Browns. Whatever. Oh, man. Cleveland. Nobody nobody would expect the Cleveland Browns to win the Super Bowl. So I picked the Browns. Nobody but the people in Cleveland are, are hopeful that they win the Super Bowl. And, exactly. You so, know, I mean, they, they don't they don't have the LeBron James to help them out. But anything can happen in NFL, especially in this 2020, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, 2020 will, will you know, be over. It would be legitimately be over if the Browns won the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. You know what? With everything going on in 2020, I can see that actually happening. Like, oh, I feel like the old guy from Back to the Future 2. is like, I should have put money on the Cubbies. Should have put money on the Cubs. Do you know how much money I would have won? Yeah. Man, just imagine Cleveland. Well, I don't even know what the odds are. They, they are winning the Super Bowl. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, for nothing? I don't know. How <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. I don't, I don't follow them. If they win, they win. If they lose, I'm like, ah, damn it. Tomorrow's the first official full season. They, they started on Thursday. Um, mm-hmm. I, was big, I was really big on not having any sports play because, you know, I wanted – I had this theory where we have businesses around the world that are closing. Um, San Francisco yeah. alone, we're losing, we're losing iconic places because of COVID because they can't reopen because they can't pay their same workers. Here. Yeah, Hawaii, pro- I'm pretty sure it's the same way. So I was thinking, like, you know, these NBA players, these MLB players took the money, their salary of 2020, and just put it into the economy back into these local businesses or these small businesses, they probably could survive, you know? Yeah. But instead, they, they, they want to play basketball. They want to, you know, LeBron James want to win a title. And so I, I kind of boycotted sports for a bit. But damn it, football yeah. season started. Did it, you know, yeah. <laughs> Didn't like the the, the basketball or NBA or whatever? Didn't they like something controversial happen or something? Like they just didn't play or whatever? Or what was yeah, it? yeah, it over was another a death of somebody. Yeah, or? it was the 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 shooting of uh, Jacob Blake. Oh, um, okay, the, okay, yeah. And um, they decided instead of playing that night, they just you know they respectfully uh, boycotted the the game. Oh, and okay. LeBron and some of the Clippers wanted to just end the season. They just said, you know what? Let's just forget it. It's not worth it. But mm-hmm. I guess the NBA was like, no, let's just continue playing. And they're still playing. I think LeBron yeah. just didn't want to face the, the Clippers in the, in the, in the finals. So mm. that's, that's my thing. That's my thoughts. So I don't well, know. he's afraid of the Clippers. Then. He's afraid. And right now they're on a collision course to play each other in the, uh, I forget what division they're in. Western, Western, Western division, yes. Yes, they're on a collision course. They play each other. See, the Celtics are in the Eastern Conference or whatever, right? Yes. Celtics just beat Toronto yesterday. Um, Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Wow. So Toronto is still in the uh, NBA, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, but they're, they're all playing in Orlando. <laughs> See, I'm so, I'm so old on uh, <gasps> NBA. I'm thinking the Seattle Supersonics yes. are still – in the NBA, and somebody had no. Somebody told me no. They're the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder, yeah, yeah. I'm like Oklahoma City for real. Yeah. Okay. Hope well, they bring back Sonics. Well, yeah. There's a rumor going around. Um, there's a couple of old. I think Gary Payton, yes. Sean Camp, one of those the OG. Love. Yeah, I think they're trying to find a way to buy a team or put a team back up in Seattle. Um, That'd be great. I'd want to see that, yeah. Seattle is one of the, you know, I remember Detlef Shrimp back in the days. Oh, dude, Detlef uh, Shrimp, Nate McMillan. McMillan, yeah, yeah. Love the Rain Man, Sean Kemp. I was a, as you can tell, I was a very big Supersonics uh, fan. And then when they played the Bulls in the, the finals, he just massacred the Sonics over there. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, but I was still a Sonics fan. I mean, I, I you know, what, what was it? Um, uh, Kevin Durant. Played his last when he got drafted. Played one year in Seattle, and they moved over to Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing see, seeing a Seattle team back That'd in Seattle. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, it'd be it'd be good for our division, the the Warriors. We, you know, the Warriors here in San Francisco. It'd be good for our division to have you know another another team to compete against in, in our division. Awesome. But we'll see what the NBA says. You know, NBA yeah. is, don't even yeah. know the reason why they moved to Oklahoma. I honestly don't know why. Yeah, I mean, Seattle, Oklahoma, 
Yeah. I don't know. That's far away. You went is from. It? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's Midwest. Yeah. Oklahoma's Midwest. Jeez. You went from a hippie town in Seattle. You Seattle's don't don't get mad at me, but you went from a hippie town in Seattle to okay. a Midwest country in Oklahoma, where you know you went from vegans to steaks is pretty much what happened with Seattle. Pearl Jam to George Street. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bet you the NBA, NBA players got there like, what the hell are we listening to? What, 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 happened, to, what happened to Soundgarden? What happened to Nirvana? George Strait crap? George Strait. What was this country cool. song that we're listening to? But yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy just the way things are. And, um, you know, uh, I got a coworker who, it's so funny, she she lives, her family lives in Hawaii. Uh, mm-hmm. They're 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 uh, uh, Waianae, Waianae side of Hawaii, nice. and she was thinking about just not going to work. And I was like, "What are you gonna do?" It's like thinking about just visiting my grandmother in Hawaii. I'm like, "You gotta quarantine for 14 days when you get there." They're like, "Yeah, we can quarantine in her house for 14 yeah. days. We don't have to go. We don't have to go to the beach. We'll yeah. just send my cousins to go buy us whatever we want when we're there." Of course. Yeah. And I said. Let me know when you go, because I might go with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well. I mean, it's, I mean, cra- it's just crazy. It's yeah, crazy. I, have, I have some friends in Vegas. Like, right when this, uh, whatever happened, like, the, the hoopla happened, yeah. like, uh, they were supposed to come to Hawaii, and the two-week quarantine thing happened. I was like, dude, come on. She was all sad. Yeah. So, like, she's like, I don't know, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll come by, come like, you know, at the end of the year or whatever, but if everything changes, so. Yeah, I think, I think till we get a, till we get a vaccine is when, you know, that's kind of the normality of everything. But until then, no vaccine, you know, no go. You know, I'm, I made a joke. I mean, and that's the thing about the COVID thing, like the, this society, it's all about memes. Yes. Or, or memes or memes or whatever yes. the hell it's called. Um, I, I said one like when this, when this thing started, I was like, you know, what if the vaccine for COVID is herpes? <laughs> and you're like, oh, it cured my COVID. It did. But now I have herpes. Give me you herpes. Know? So at least it took away my COVID. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I saw I like, saw one meme <laughs> where it says, once we vote Trump out, what would be, would it be crazy? Once Trump gets voted out, all of a sudden COVID just disappears. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, it's so weird how, like, all this stuff happened when he was in the office. Oh, my God. The my government, God. man. The and and government. The, scary, the scary part is, you know, it's like you, you still have people out there who might vote him in. That's what's, that's what's scaring me right now. Uh, you know, it's like I was telling my wife, it's like, okay, Joe Biden and is going to run, right? So he's yeah, yeah, basically yeah. going to be running after Trump. So it's yeah. like, do you want him or a Trump? Like, there's going to be a lot of people that don't want to vote for Trump, but have to. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't want Joe. I mean, I mean, that's what happened between Trump and Hillary. Nobody wanted a female in the office, right? Of they, course, they weren't ready for that. I don't. I don't think it was that. I mean, well, personally, for me, I don't think yeah. it was that. Just I did not trust Hillary. She reminded me of Carol Baskin. Yeah. And I was like, you look in her eyes. They're like. You killed somebody. You did. You yeah. did it. You yeah. did it. I think that's the one thing that we learned in this year that she killed her husband. Carol Baskin killed her husband. Yeah. Oh, one man. thing I learned. Every one of the tigers ate, 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 ate him. Yeah. That, that has to be it. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't do an autopsy in a tiger and find out, you know, if he's in there, right? Mm-hmm. No, you can't. You can't. That's why I wish I had a DeLorean, man. I wish I had a DeLorean. Oh my God. So if I had one. I would go back in time and see all the stuff that I want to see. Like, I would, like, you know, went up to the, you know, like, uh, I don't know, JFK, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how that happened? Or, uh, you know, just yesterday, you know, 9-11, like, how that happened? How did, yeah, Whatever. yeah. You just want to know. As humans, you just want to know. And that it's a little grotesque, but uh, to be just curious, you know? And as humans, we're dumb and curious. Since we're on that topic, Back to the Future. Now, be honest, yes. qu- honest questions. This is all Back to the Future questions, and I just want to know your, 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 your answers. Would you use it the way Biff did? Ooh. Would- like for money, for gain, gain yeah. for like power? And- yeah. 
I don't, I wouldn't do it for evil because I'm not an evil person. Okay. But um, I probably would. Probably would do it like for a couple bets here and there. I probably, you know, like who would win Super Bowl, yes. whatever. Like I would do like a like a million dollar bet on like um, you know, Adam Vinatieri kicking yeah. the football a field goal, like whatever. And I would just be a you know a gazillionaire. I'll probably do that, not in an evil way. Yeah. Not in an evil I, way. I think I'm I'm on that same boat with you. I'll probably just yeah. do it to not make it look obvious. Exactly. You know, exactly. not to make it look obvious. All right, another one. Um. If you could change history, if you had a DeLorean, I mean, change it either for the positive, um, you know, you mentioned GFK, if you could, if you can stop that assassination from happening, would you do it? Would you be, would you change history if you had a DeLorean? Dude, I I really, now if you think about it, if JFK was still around and like, Mm -hmm. what did he do to make people angry? Was it that Cuban missile Thing. I think there was a. I think I think there was a lot. Yeah, I think there was a lot of things um, that made him angry or made people and, angry. Yeah, and also like he, you know, he farted around with uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like that's that's a that's a tough one because uh, he, well, he was a good president. Yeah, I think he was a good president. Yeah. I'm not a very not a very political person. The only president I love uh, or that I kind of love is uh, Abraham Lincoln because he's freaking cool. Yeah, Vampire Slayer as well. Yeah, <laughs> little tangent here. <laughs> so, so we're watching uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer, and my grandma, you know, she we're watching it, and like uh, she's like, "Oh, I didn't know that you he fighted vampires." <laughs> and I'm like, "Memo, yeah, it was back in the day, man. It's true." <laughs> she's like, "Oh, okay." So the whole movie, she's <laughs> just thinking like it's real, and at the end, I just like, "Memo, this is a movie. It's not. It's not real." It's like, "Oh." Oh, you're a smart ass, aren't you? Like, yes, I know. Yes, or I know. is it? Or is it? Yeah, or is it? It was hilarious. <laughs> My dad was cracking up. Uh, but I don't think I would change. I think I would change it. That. I mean, the only thing, or if I could go back, I probably would change things where a lot of people lost their lives, like 9-11. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd probably do that, 9-11. Um, anything else, like uh, maybe some school shooting massacres, or some shootings that happened, yeah. you know, I, I, if I could, I would probably go back to try to prevent those. Yeah. Um, but again, if I had a DeLorean and we can go back to the future, man, I'd probably go back to my high school self and go, Hey, don't fuck up, man. Go, you know, yeah. <laughs> get, get <That>. these A's. <laughs> oh man. I think I would go back and give them some lyrics to, some of the best songs out there in the world. Yeah, yeah. Put it in my uh, my uh, trap, my trapper keeper. <laughs> uh, it's like, don't open this till two thousand. Yeah. You open it up and it's like, I'm a Barbie girl <laughs> in a Barbie world. What is Wrapped this? In plastic. It's fantastic. Yeah. You're like, okay, whatever. Million dollars right there. Sing it, sing it. You just have sing to it, sing it one time. Sing it, one buddy. One time. Um, yeah, I don't think I would change the JFK thing. Uh, like you said, I would probably, I'm a musician, and uh, I don't like to see musicians uh, die from drug overdoses. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. My biggest my biggest influences, my heroes are Bradley Noel. Yes. Some, um, Shannon Hoon, Blind Melon, you know, all these people. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Okay, Kurt Cobain. I, yeah. uh, Kurt Cobain, I believe he was murdered. I think so. By yeah. his wife? Mm-hmm. Set the mundo by his wife. Yeah, and she she ended up not really doing anything after he died, though, right? Like she didn't make. Did she get the money? She made an album around the time that uh, you know he uh, supposedly committed suicide, and it was the biggest album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made so. What better way to get your album uh, some success is uh, you know your husband killing himself. Mm. But that's beside the point. That's what I. That's what I believe in. What I, you know, but I, what I would do is, if I had a DeLorean, I would go and hang out with Bradley or Shannon. You, oh, you, nice. And be nice. like, I will kick your ass yeah. if you do drugs. Yeah. And be with them because those are the kind of people I think that we needed in the world. Yeah. Joe Strump too. Like, well, he didn't drive drugs, but he died of a you know heart kind of disease. Yes. But um. Yeah, those those things you really can't you yeah. know, fix, but it's just people that you think 
man, they would have done some awesome things. In yes. Like, in, Just in imagine there. if Bruce Lee was still if, around. Bruce Lee. Yeah. I mean, dude, um, who else? Yeah, geez. I don't know. I mean, that's why, that's why we don't have a DeLorean. That's why it's a movie. Because yeah. I think, I think we, we would stress out over what we'd want to yeah. do and who would we want to say first, right? Like, and that's no. why, Marty, we have to destroy the DeLorean. We cannot go back to 1885, <laughs> Marty. It's cause if we go back. Marty, Marty, we can't go back. Man, that's my all-time, I was, I was telling, uh, telling a couple of people, that's my all-time favorite movie. And if they ever did a remake or want to do a reboot, I would shoot the producer. I was um, just going to say that. I was just going to say I was going to shoot somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I mean, keep it the way it is. Keep, I mean, it's like, it's one of those movies that you cannot do a remake for or of anything. Even if it would be a continuation. It was like, no, I don't need a, a, a hot looking teen with a yeah. washboard abs and no. very nice hair to be wearing the Back to the Future hat yeah. that uh, Marty was wearing. I was like, I don't need that. I don't need a continuation. <clears throat> no. It was, it's done. It's, it's three done. and done. It's done the way it is. It's good the way it is. There's no, there's no other thing that they need to, to show us. I mean, they ended it perfectly by, you know, the train smashing the DeLorean and then Doc flying away. I mean, that's the only way they can do a continuation is talking about, you know, Doc and his train, right? I mean, other than that, yeah. they can't really do anything else. Even if, the, if, even if it was weird when, uh, when you looked in the train and you saw the camera uh, go towards the little kid and the kid mm -hmm. was going like this with his finger, <laughs> I got a pointed beat. at his wiener. Yeah. <laughs> like, as a kid, like, okay, I got the you know, VHS tapes, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I sound a Canadian right there, sorry. I was looking and I was just like, why, why is he going like this to his finger? And he's just pointing like, that's weird. And then I saw on YouTube, like, did you yeah. see that kid point to his wiener? Like, oh, my God. Oh, he did. Like, like that's what he was doing. That that's who you need on this podcast. <laughs> yes. Why were you pointing at your wiener? Wiener is like why? No, you have one, but come on. Why? I mean, it's funny because there was probably only one person in the movie theater. If you watched this in the theater back in eighty, whatever that was, eighty eight, uh. there was probably only one person that actually noticed that. <laughs> like, why did you guys see the kid touching his wiener? Like, no, what are you talking about? We were, we were looking at Doc, right? If I had a DeLorean, I'll go back inside a random theater, the opening of Back to the Future 3, and I'll watch it. I'll be like, the fuck? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Everybody be like, shh. It's like, it's weird. Okay, never mind. After, after the credits. After we hear of Huey Lewis. <laughs> he touched his wiener. What's going on he's, here? He's pointing at it. He uh, waited from sci-fi to almost X-rated. <laughs> yeah, we, I didn't even notice that. I mean, like, again, YouTube, with the magic of YouTube, and they tell you all the little, yeah, little bloopers yeah. here and there, and I'm like, he did touch his wiener. Now, now that you see it more than once, well, whenever it's it, on TV. Point, I think he pointed at it, or I don't know if he, like, he poked or whatever. Yeah, I think he did the one, one of these things, like pointing down there, like, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta, he did the whole red rum, red rum, red rum. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's crazy. But I would not want them to do a remake of that movie. That movie, to no. me, it's a classic. No. Keep it the way it is. Um, you know, yeah. um, Christopher Lloyd, when he, he seems like he's, I don't want him to go, but he seems like he's at, the, you know, he, he can go any moment. Um, you know, dude, like, God bless Christopher Lloyd. I was talking about him the other, the other day or the other week. Like, he has done some, other than Doc Brown. Yeah, yeah. He's done some iconic characters. Oh, my God. Fester Adams. Fester, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, uh, you know, the guy from Taxi. Dude, uh, he took, he took the, his character from Taxi. And if yeah. you watch any of those, all it is is Doc Brown sober. Mm -hmm. The way mm -hmm. he speaks and everything, it's just Doc Brown yeah. sober. He did the uh, the thief from uh, uh, Dennis the Menace, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. and the one, and and also the most scariest one from Roger Rabbit, you know. Roger Rabbit. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can even recognize him. Eddie. That's right. Dude, yeah. when he turned around and he had the eyes like that, and as a kid I was just like, oh, oh God. Iconic, iconic. Other than Doc Brown, I mean, like. No man, he, Doc Brown. He he's he is not uh what was that one thing that 
uh, what were they called? That one word, um, typecasting. He's no, never typecasted never, as Doc Brown. Never. Because I he mean, has so many other roles that he's he, played. He's a, he's a good actor. He he did an episode of Big Bang Theory. I don't know if you've seen that episode where um, uh, Sheldon and Leonard were fighting over something and Sheldon decides to rent his room to a homeless Somebody. guy and it was him. <laughs> And he just played his character, you know, exactly the way he was supposed to play his character. It's like, I just kept thinking, you know, 1.81 gigawatts or something, <laughs> 88 gigawatts. But man, okay. I want to, again, thank you for coming on and, and um, chatting with me. I mean, you know, we, we'll see. Maybe we can do this on a monthly thing and just give us <laughs> updates on Hawaii and how Hawaii is going on out there. And um and yeah, it's going. I mean, we're we're on uh, you know two more weeks to stay at home. Yeah, uh, it's it's cool. I mean, my family and I we don't go out anyway. I want to go out for su- on Sundays to North Shore, do a yeah. live stream. Yeah, be- um, follow follow yeah. follow uh, Sean on IG. He does a live show every Sunday. Um, he's on dude, IG. Dude. Um, Hawaiian dude seventy seven. Hawaiian dude seven. What else? What else? Uh, what other info do you want to give out to everybody to follow you on? Uh, dude, uh, let me see. Not the much. Just stay safe. Love, uh, just like uh, in semi pro. <laughs> everybody love everybody. <laughs> love everybody. <laughs> you know, um, and just uh, yeah, stay safe. That's about it. It's all we can do, man. I mean, everybody. You know, it's like my coworker yesterday said, uh, "Happy Aloha Friday," and I kind of looked at her and I said, "I live Aloha every day." And she's like, yep. "Really?" I'm like, mm-hmm. "If we have to go, just." celebrate aloha one day a week so what are you saying four days out of the week we're upset with each other so i live aloha every day so that way everybody knows that you know and everybody knows me as the type that i'm that upbeat person that nothing can can piss you off and if it does i just on your own beat yeah woosa myself and and say you know what i'm on an island right now i'm on an island yeah you know, and, and and you know, Aloha Spirit is kind of like you know the Force from Star Wars, man. It is the Force. You know, it, you can, it travels, you know, from far to near, or whatever. You can take it wherever you want, and it's it always is the Force. Yeah, and it uh, is the Force. Yeah, I think the one thing about this COVID thing, like, well, personally for me, the, you know, some positive stuff over all the negative crap is uh, is being at home, not being busy because. You know, there was a point where I was playing gigs. I was just like, oh, I just want a break. Yeah. Kind of, you know, and then now I have this huge break, which I use to write a lot of songs. Nice. Learn more songs. Uh, you know, spend time with the family, play video games. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there is some positivity out of this, Good. you know, whatever thing that we have out there. 2020. So, I'm not going to call it COVID no more. I'm just going to call it 2020. <laughs> 2020. 2020. That's what it is. It's just 2020. But again, yeah. Sean Garnett, a.k.a. Cousin Flippa, here on the daily – the daily. I, I'm putting you on the daily vlog and the daily podcast. I've been trying to get you on my vlog for the longest time, and thank you for Zoom for finding yeah. a way for me to get oh, people dude. on the show. It made millions. Zoom. Oh, my God. If you didn't – if you didn't – I didn't. I didn't. If I did – if I knew this pandemic was coming, I would have bought stocks right away. Yeah, of course. See, they had a DeLorean. <laughs> if I had a DeLorean. Go, go back in the day, it's like, and just whisper in, in your, you know, 12-year-old self, Zoom. Zoom. And you wake up, your, your 12-year-old self would be, Zoom, what is Zoom? And then you're like, make this program. Yeah, Bangle. Make this program. Exactly. Billions of dollars. 2019, everybody's saying, Happy New Year. I'll be like, I think I need to buy Zoom. I think yeah. I have to buy Zoom before this New Year ends. <laughs> Aren't you going to party? Aren't you going to go to the party? No, I got to go create this thing called Zoom. Zoom. Someone said Zoom. <laughs> but again, I want to thank Sean Garnett for coming on. Um, Cousin Flipper from Hawaii Five O, um, And definitely check out, listen, if you guys listen to the song, go download Warm Embrace. I mean, dude, I Thanks. love that song. I love that song. I'm going to be playing it cool. as we get off. Um, but thank you again. Much love for coming on. And, um, you know, stay safe out there to you and the family. And thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank really you. appreciate it. This, um, this will be uploaded on the podcast probably this week, but it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. So we'll definitely cool. um, get you on YouTube. Right on, that, that, you know, you're helping me out on my channel. You know, you're, you're, you're the big star yeah. out there in Hawaii. No, so. <laughs> no brother. 
Oh, come on. I got a funny Hawaii story to tell you. <clears throat> okay. Not the last time we were there. A couple of years ago when we were there, we went to a McDonald's. And there was you know, this Asian tourist that was in front of us. And, you know, English was broken and couldn't really order what they wanted to order. Um, but their meal ended up becoming like $17, right? I walk up to the line, <clears throat> you know, tank top, you know, dark skin, tattoos. I look at the cashier and I go, hey, bro, I'm going to order the same thing. You're not going to charge me that. And the guy looks at me, looks, looks at the guy, walk, waits for the Asian family to leave. He goes, no, bro, I'll give you come aina, bro. Don't worry. What? <laughs> same exact meal as that Asian family got. I got for like 10 bucks. Nice. So, so that's, that's the cool. That's, dude, that's what I love about Hawaii, man. Yeah. That's what I love you know about Hawaii. Hawaii. You know what a come aina is when they walk in. You yeah. Know? Kind of walk in, walk in. And it's like when you're there and you're ready to shop and you're ready to go home, they say, where are you from? You just mention the city. Oh, Mo'ilili. I'm from Mo'ilili. Just come in over here to go see what I can get in Waikiki. <laughs> Sometimes, like, if I go to Waikiki or whatever, and I was like, I got to show my ID for yeah. a couple. Like, like yeah. just looking at me, like, mm -hmm. I, without, with the beard, I just look like a regular dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look like a regular bro dude. With tattoos, yeah, yeah. But without it, like I look like more, more Hawaiian. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I look this. I look white, <laughs> I look Caucasian, but without it, you know. It this big, me. this big country guy coming. <laughs> this country guy coming in and think you gonna say that? You're not, you're not local. Sean <laughs> <laughs> Gannett, thank you so much for being on the show again. Stay safe out there. And sure. catch catch him on Instagram. He does a live stream every Sunday, and um, and Magnum PI. Whenever it comes back on the air, he'll yeah yell yeah. It's, uh, they're doing pre production, but uh, it'll probably be another couple weeks or so till they start filming, or maybe a month. I'm not sure. Okay, well, good luck. Get you, uh, hopefully everything is back to normal yep. soon. Get you back out there doing your gigs and doing your shows. Thank you, better. But until then, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank Aloha, you. brother. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's show. A nice, a little different type of adventure. Again, I want to give thanks to Sean Garnett, a.k.a. Cousin Flippa. And if you guys don't know, this is, this is the song. Listen, this is the song. This is his song right here. This is Warm Embrace. He said he sang in 2002. But I'll let you listen to a little bit of the words so you guys can see or hear what this this reflects what's going on right now in the world. Warm embrace. Sean Garnett, look look for it on you um what do you say? iTunes, Apple iTunes and Spotify. People nowadays with their minds filled with rain. They don't care what they do or say anymore. See that? Man. I see people with their guns taking lives one by one. Oh, I don't want to be around here anymore. Man. Oh, my God. I see riots on the streets. Riots, riots on everywhere. the streets. Riots, riots everywhere. Riots on the sea. There's riots in the air. You get lonely and out of place. Again, download this song, Warm Embrace. Trust me, with everything going on right now, this is a positive song that's going on, and it's something that, you know, you, we all should listen to. But again, thanks to Sean Garnett, a.k.a. Cousin Flippa. I'm going to post this on YouTube in a second. And I want to thank everybody else who's, you know, back on the show who is watching this, either going to be watching this on YouTube or listening to this on my Anchor app or my um, Apple podcast Google Podcasts, Spotify, I'm available on all those things. Um, and I will be uploading this. This is a daily vlog and a daily podcast all at once. So for you guys watching, thanks for watching. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. And for you guys who's listening, thanks for listening, guys. The daily podcast and the daily vlog will continue again.
Thanks for listening, guys. Podcast has ended. Go in peace. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I just want to congratulate my friend Eric for 400 vlogs in a row. What's a vlog? A vlog is a video on a log. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a lot of logs. There's a lot of logs. Congratulations, Eric. Congratulations. Yay! But not tonight. I made this.